what's the impact of infomercials done for the advertising industry and maybe the impact on consumers over the last decade? Uh, you know, real good question. Um, I think the, the impact has been tremendous only because the vehicles of advertising have really changed so much. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, uh, we were the internet I don't even think was around for the most part, right. you know. Um, and also in the last 10 years, I mean, the cable industry has really become very segmented. And what's happened is now is infomercials are able to really target their demographics very specifically. And with the help of uh, with the online component, I mean, they you, you can really kind of figure out where do you want to go with your message, how to say it, and boom, contact um, your consumers directly right there. What um in your history of obviously you know you watch them you observe them you check the claims and and obviously not passing judgment on the product what um what what do you find is the most fascinating most interesting to you to watch you know what I mean like when you see you it's know obviously ball, when like that you watch the vacuum cleaner yes when you yeah. watch infomercials you know there's obviously you have your segments and then you have ones that are done mm -hmm. better and higher quality and then you have ones that are done right. that are you know not such great quality right. but what's your favorite. Oh, uh, you know, it's a good one. It's really kind of a two-part question. Uh, you know, with respect to the products themselves, uh, you know what the most interesting ones are? Always the crazy ad belt products. Uh -huh. um, uh, uh, only because um, there, there are several ways that these guys try to get their message across. Uh, and in this world of multitasking, they're showing you guys sitting at their desk, you know, with the ad belt on, and you apparently lose weight, you know, while you're working lose weight while you're sleeping, you know, while you're eating food. It's amazing how everybody tries to condense their time, you know, so economically, I guess. So, you know, with respect to products, you know, some I really get a kick out of watching some of these ad belt gods, I have to say. Um, with the, you know, with the claims themselves and the techniques that a lot of these advertisers use, I always thought the most compelling were the product demonstrations, inviting consumers yep. to see for themselves how the product works. Yep. Uh, I think the before and after photos, I think that's a little passe already, if I can even say that. Uh, I think consumers are kind of catching on to the little tricks that uh, some of the marketers use with the before and after photos. That's why I think that the product demonstration is the way to go these days. You know, how come every infomercial that you see has the order now, and then if you order in the next 10 minutes, you'll get blah, 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 or a 10% discount, and you'll see that same infomercial at 2 o'clock on Tuesday and then at 4 o'clock on Sunday? I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Some of these, uh, I know, so, some of the, uh, the claims, especially at the very tail end of a lot of the 90-second ads and the infomercials, of course, you know, if you act now, you get this. And if you act now, you even get this. And don't, you know, it's not over yet. You also get this. Peter, do you, know, did you know what the very first infomercial, I don't know this, this answer, so it's not a trick question, but do you know what the very first infomercial ever produced was or aired was? Well, that is a good question. Um, I do not. We'll need to figure that out. I'd know? like to actually. I'd actually like to tell you it's one of those music catalog things, but um, <laughs> I'd be lying if I told you. I you know, it, it might be the Ginsu knife. It might, you know, the what Ginsu the knife is one of the earlier ones. Uh, that's for sure. You know, and the Chia Pet. I mean, that yeah. one has been around for a long time. You know the trick so, in you know, the Ginsu. There are a few of those that uh, that we that we've seen for for uh, you know that probably. Already, uh, you know, the shelf knife has probably come and gone already on some you, of these. You know, the interesting part about the Ginsu knife, which I thought was fascinating, was that if it broke, it was actually, they made more money replacing it for free by you paying the shipping and handling <laughs> than they did originally selling you the whole package of knives. Yeah, no, no. You know what, uh, uh, Rob, I always thought one of the best parts of that commercial of the Ginsu knife was the cutting of the Coke can. Well, it's, oh, I remember you, that. You almost, picked, I bet you almost picked up the phone and bought it because you saw it cut a Coke it, can. Because you know what you just pointed out in, 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 com in, in commercials, and it's a word that HSN uses within their confines of their house, is that it's demonstrable. You know what I mean? It's a highly demonstrable product, and that's what people right. need to see. Right. You know, right. And that's often the most compelling sell message you can get. When you can yeah. really show something to the consumer where they can see for their own eyes how it works, that's, you, always, uh, that's always one of the most persuasive methods, no I question. Get, I got to tell you, Peter, you have one of the most fascinating jobs that I've ever heard of. Um, thank you very much for calling in. What's some contact information if somebody wants to, to get in touch with you? Or report a claim. Well... Well, uh, you, you know what? And consumers are invited to bring any inquiries they may have to our attention, and we'll kind of run with the ball. Um, we have a website. It's narcpartners.org. And uh, if you go to the website, you can hit the ERSP tag, and uh, you can submit a complaint that way. 
My email is Peter Marinello. It's actually pmarinello at N-A-R-C dot B-B-B dot org. And listen, guys, I can't thank you enough for having me on the no, show. you are fascinating. And, um, thank you very much. great time. And, you know, sorry about the devil race, by the way. That's going to pick up next season. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes. Hey, we won against Boston last night. That's good. That's we, Peter from New York. Exactly. Helped us help the Yanks out a bit. Yeah. No.